I, th- I think it's important to teach about rock and roll because people assume when they go to school, I know when I went to school, that, uh, you know, the popular culture of your day is something that's not taught. You know, you have to learn about, uh, you know, venerated classics that sometimes seem a little bit abstract. T- to think that, you know, the history of rock and roll and all its personalities and its different outcroppings um, and how it grew and how it evolved and how it reflected the culture. These are important things to, to understand and it helps, if, it helps you to just get a grasp on what art can do for humankind. I mean, you know, we create art to be able to look at our emotions and say, this is who we are and, and this is how we relate to each other. And uh, it's important, you know, I'm a historian and I wish when I was in school, uh, I could have taught, a, you know, I could have learned, a, a, you know, a history of rock and roll, or at least at that point, it wouldn't have been much of a history, <laughs> a couple of years. But, uh, you know, I would, have, I would have liked to know how, how music and popular culture interact. And I think now there's a sense that you can study it and you can learn from it. And that doesn't really, it only enhances your enjoyment of it, essentially.